Hi, I'm Robin Leach with those champagne wishes, and you're listening to Kitchen Chat with Margaret McSweeney. Good eating. Hello, everyone. I'm Margaret McSweeney, and welcome to Kitchen Chat on the Road. We are, we are at a very exciting grand opening for the second location of Shake Shack here with the CEO, Randy Garudi. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you so much, Margaret. We are thrilled to be here, and this is just one of the most special Shake Shacks we could ever imagine in the world. So thank you for being here to celebrate with us. Oh, and a huge congratulations to Shake Shack on your fabulous IPO. That is just wonderful. Congrats. Thank you. It, it, you know what? We're focused on cooking one burger at a time and one shack at a time. And uh, that's been a fun part of this year. But, um, you know, we're, we're continuing to focus right here on the next burger coming out for you. Yes, focus on the food, which we at Kitchen Chat absolutely love. And I can't wait to highlight this menu. But before we go through the great ingredients, the great mission statement of your company, can you tell us a little bit about its serendipitous beginnings? You know, it was such an accident. We've been running New York's favorite fine dining restaurants for 30 years. And in 2001, Madison Square Park, where we had two restaurants, 11 Madison Park and Tabla, had fallen into disrepair. And we were part of bringing uh, rejuvenation to the park with an art project where the artist's idea was New York taxis on stilts and a hot dog cart selling hot dogs. And we just did it the way we do things. And and all of a sudden, 50 people lined up, 100 people lined up. And serendipity, again, here we are in Chicago. It was a Chicago-style hot dog at the cart that started it. Three years later, Shake Shack is born thinking we'd sell a few hot dogs to continue to support the park. And I guess the rest is history. 11 years after that, here we are talking to you in Chicago. And, you know, there's never been a more sincere, organic growth story in our lives that for what we've done. And and we just thank ourselves. uh, Thank thank God every day that this is happening uh, and continues to happen. And it's so exciting. Listeners, you will love Shake Shack. Not only the food, which we will get to, I promise, but also the mission statement, which I love. Stand for something good. And can you please share with what your restaurants are standing up for and how you connect with the local community and charity to make a difference? Yeah, stand for something good. It it actually started half jokingly because people were always standing online at Shake Shack. Uh, and it just becomes our, our mission for everything that we do every day. The way we take care of our team, the way we take care of our employees, the way we design our restaurants with, with local woods, with reclaimed woods, with you know, a minimal impact on the environment. The way we think about food, no hormones, no antibiotics in our proteins, no corn syrup in our frozen custard. Just thinking about it, you know, our buns are non-GMO. Just, just little by little ticking away at the things that could be better in the world and trying to do our part um, and in every shack we always localize our efforts um, here we're working one of the concretes called the penthouse suite um, where we work with Vosge, an incredible chicago chocolate maker five uh, percent of the sales of that goes to after school matters and whenever we do a shake shack wherever we go we want it to be a mirror of your community we continue to team up with local artisanal producers of the best stuff we can find uh, and, and we continue the charitable efforts that make a community place work. That's what Shake Shack is. And that is the perfect pairing, charity and cuisine, and delicious cuisine. I must say, my daughter, my youngest daughter goes to the University of Miami, and Shake Shack <laughs> yes, is a favorite stop <laughs> for her there. But let's focus on the Chicago menu. You will love this. Oh my goodness, some of the local highlights. If you could tell us please about the publican pork sausage. Yeah, so whenever we go to a town, we want to look for some cool local producers. And we loved what the guys the publican were doing. We had never done a pork sausage except for one location in London before. And this, so this was really the first time in America that we did a pork sausage. They made it for us. And then we topped it with our shack cheese sauce. Then we take shallots, marinate them in our beer made by Brooklyn Brewery, deep fry them, put them on top with the cheese sauce, 
It is pretty tough to beat. And it's only available in Chicago, so you gotta you gotta have it while you're here. It is a Chicago exclusive, so you definitely need to come here, uh, friends. Also, I love this Chicago dog. You know, that's our our version of the classic Chicago style hot dog. That is what Shake Shack was born from in the hot dog cart, and we do it our way. And we work with Vienna beef that Chicagoans know and love, but we actually have an all natural hot dog, no hormones, no antibiotics. Um, so it's different than what you can get most places. Uh, so we do that, and, and that's been part of the pedigree. And of course, then you lead to the burgers, and it's you know the classic Shack burger is uh, is tough to beat. Yes, and any special, um, I guess, Chicago highlight for your burgers? Not yet, but I can tell you something to try that's not officially on the menu. It's called the Schackmeister Burger, which we do at some other shacks. We take those beer marinated shallots I talked about, put them on top of a cheeseburger. So if you want to order the Schackmeister Burger, that's the way to go. If you're really hungry, the Shack Stack, which is our veggie mushroom burger, portobello burger, on top of a cheeseburger. If you're really feeling like it, that's the way to go, too. So you definitely need to come with your appetite and also come with your beloved four-legged creature and loved one at home because you have wolf. Can you please talk about the wolf for uh, the dogs? Yeah, you know, Shake Shack being born in a public park, we had a, a dog run right next door. So early on, we created this thing called the Puccini. Uh, and now we have this artisanal dog biscuit maker in the West Village in New York City make Shack Burger dog biscuits. Put it in with a little frozen custard and peanut butter, and your dog will generally be pretty happy if you can, uh, if you can bring them on along. And really, the dog makes the decision on where you're eating these days. So we're, we're going to take care of everybody here. I love this enlightened hospitality, which is a theme from the Union Square Hospitality Group that has passed forward. Can you share some other ways that you are spotlighting enlightened hospitality? Yeah, our founder, Danny Meyer, really coined the term enlightened hospitality. And what that means is the first thing we do every day is take care of our team. And we believe that when we do that, they can do the best job of taking care of you, our guests, taking care of being out in our community, taking care of our suppliers who provide us with the great ingredients that we have on this menu, and ultimately, that creates the best return for our investors. And that virtuous cycle is how we do business in everything that we do. And that is a great formula for a successful and delicious business. And, of course, we're at Shake Shack. We have to talk about your shakes. Oh. And I know the suite, um, presidential suite, is going to benefit uh, the charity. But can you highlight some of the other delicious choices on the menu? So the classic shakes have always been here. It's, it's frozen custard made all day fresh, never sees day two. We hand scoop and hand spin. Um, so, you know, your black and white shake... Coffee Fair Shake is one of my favorites. And then every week we have what we call the custard calendar here, where we have a new seasonal local flavor. Um, and right now um, we're working through the end of the calendar here uh, with strawberry almond. And so you can make a shake with that custard flavor every week. For the concretes, which is our version of more of a dense, rich, premium custard spun with these great local ingredients, we always team up with some cool things. So here, Across from Millennium Park, we're doing the Millennium Perk, and we use the great Intelligentsia coffee here uh, and a donut from Glazed and Infused, which I'm sure you know and love. The next one, we work with Bang Bang Pie, and we use one of their pies, the banana cream pie, blend it up, mix it up. So we literally put a slice of their pie in frozen custard, blend it up. So good. And then the last one we talked about with the Penthouse Suite takes Vosges pecan walnut toffee and peanut butter sauce with chocolate sprinkles. So, I, I mean, those are just so fun and the right way to end your meal after a Shack Burger. I love that. And do you also have just plain vanilla, if that's on the menu? Plain, classic, beautiful vanilla. If you're a purist, that's often what I get. I just want a single cup of vanilla to finish it up or chocolate. I mean, it's, yeah. just, it's just the best version of ice cream, really, the most dense, rich, premium flavors you have with no corn syrup. And I love that it's dairy good. And, of course, the National Milkshake Day for Vanilla Milkshake is June 20th. So that is coming up. I'll, we'll have to celebrate here at Shake Shack. We'll be ready for you. It is Shake Shack, after all. 
Indeed. And one other thing, I read that Shake Shack might be considering chicken. Is that something that's under consideration? <laughs> you know, there's always a lot of rumors out there. Uh, what I can say is, look, we have a pedigree and 30 years of fine dining, and we're constantly tinkering around in our test kitchen thinking about what might be fun to test and play around with. So nothing to announce today, but um, we'll continue to innovate around the core menu. I love that. Delicious innovation with enlightened hospitality, fabulous food, and with the crinkle cut fries, I understand that is all made in house. It's all cut and prepared. Well, so we've gone back and forth on that, and and we've uh, we've we've now landed on what we love: our classic crinkle cut fry. Uh, that is all natural, no added preservatives or unnatural ingredients in there, and it's a Yukon Gold potato, crinkle cut, and there's just something about that that shape and flavor that people just love, and kids love, and just eat. There's something tactile about holding that that's just different. Um, and we've we've played around with it over the years, and our guests have clearly said, just bring me the crinkle cut fries, and, and we love them. And they are delicious. So definitely shake it up here at Shake Shack at your local convenient location. Um, you're all around the world, literally. We're, we're, we're taking it one shack at a time. We're fortunate this is our second one in Chicago, our first location, River North has exceeded every expectation we ever dreamed. And, and we've been amazed at how Chicagoans and visitors to the city have have uh, come out and, and seen us. So we're going to keep working hard to earn your trust every day. Oh, thank you so much, Randy. And listeners, for links on the locations for Shake Shack, check on to my website, and I will post a link for you. But meanwhile, always take a moment and savor the day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hope that worked.